Okay, listen up team. Um, today we are talking about why you are frustrated with your employees. And this is really a message for the employer as well as the employee, as I'm very committed to consistently trying to sit on both sides of the table and help you bridge the gap of speaking the same language. Because in my experience, you both really want the same thing. You just don't have the context or the language on how to communicate that to one another on a consistent basis. And, you know, employers, I really want you to hear this. Attorneys, I want you to hear this today. Think about it. You're an entrepreneur, you're a lifetime learner. Many of you, all the years that I've been speaking and working with attorneys, you belong to multiple organizations, legal organizations, listservs, coaching groups, mindset groups, system process production, business groups, EO, um, all the various different things that I'm so incredibly proud and honored to work with attorneys that invest in personal and professional growth and to watch their journey and transformation along the way. And you're just deeply committed to learning the ways to overcome and accomplish everything and anything that you want out of your practice and out of this life. And then you leave your community of abundance and you're just pumped. You leave the Zoom room, you leave the conference room, you leave the physical event, the whatever it might be. And you walk into your office so effing pumped and crystal clear on that it will just take X amount of, you know, just a little bit more leads, conversions, marketing strategy, whatever it might be, we just need X and we will accomplish and crush it. And then you come back and I talk about this a lot in my first book um, and actually at pretty much everything that I write and talk about. Uh, you're like the kid coming back from the carnival with the balloon, just so excited. You're just so pumped with joy and hope and possibility. And you leave these conferences and you walk into your office and you try to communicate with your team. And it's like your team standing there with the proverbial pin and pops your balloon. And, you know, you feel that you are so inspired and clear and you try to communicate it to your team and you get immediately deflated. And so nothing happens. Goal is missed. Reports are not being furnished and you're embarrassed to show up again to your coaching call or to the next quarterly event and report you know, we didn't accomplish anything, or I can't get my team to do blah, 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 or my team's not engaged. They don't care about all they care about is the paycheck, whatever it might be. And then I hear from the, the coach, the guru, whoever it might be saying, well, your team sucks. This person sucks. They're not engaged. So fire them, get rid of them. They're not on the bus. They don't get it. They aren't the right person. They are the problem. And no, that is not true in my experience. Sometimes, yes, but I really want to invite the employers and the employees listening to this. I want to invite you to really step up if you are the employer and invest in your team. Give them the same resources that you have before you have a knee-jerk reaction. They're not the right fit. And what I mean by that, and team members, if this is you listening to this, step up and go to your employer and say, I really want to support you every step of the way in your goals. I want to figure out, you know, get inside your head and have the same mindset, have the same clarity, have the same strategy that you have. And let me invest in the law firm admin bootcamp with Molly on this because your team don't understand the language that you're speaking. And sometimes we feel that we've communicated with them, but it can't come from you. Sometimes it has to come from a third party. The problem 
is not that your team is broken or they don't care. Your team needs community. You belong to communities of mindset, community of abundance producers in itself, and also an amplifier of all other strategies you choose to engage with and that are part of your growth plan. But your team does not have the same access. So expecting them to show up the way that you show up, expecting them to really be able to support you in your goals when they don't have the same language and context is almost the definition of insanity. We can give them books, we can forward them blogs, we can forward them podcasts, but they land like, read this because I have a hidden agenda in here and there's something broken in you and this is intended to fix you. Instead of consistent, persistent community that comes from a coaching environment to support them. So if you are expecting more from your team, if you're wanting more from your team, and if you are a team member that is expecting and wanting more, which I hear all the time makes me so incredibly happy, I want more opportunity. My attorney won't let go. They won't delegate. They, you know, become, they are stuck in this deferred to deflect because they don't want to make decisions because they're paralyzed in fear. They don't trust or what have you. So give your team the access to community that you have. I remember the first summer that I decided to change my financial destiny I walked every single morning, 3.5 miles at 5.30 in the morning before I did anything. It was my sunrise walk. And I listened to Jen Sincero. You are a badass at making money. And anybody that has, is not familiar with Jen, I highly recommend. And I highly recommend you do the audio book, not the hard copy book. It's extraordinary. Uh, she's just so so easy to engage with and to hear her narrate it makes it's a game changer and listening to her every single mo moment you know working with my coach every single week watching every youtube video that i could while making dinner at night the thing is and that was common all the gurus were consistently talking about people that they researched when they wanted access to what other people that were ahead of them had. And when they were researched the level of the best in their fields of play and found the people that they were sought after in the opportunities and what they found was that it boiled down to two different things. And number one was being in community with people ahead of you in knowledge, skills, mindset, performance will exponentially improve your game. And number two was getting in the room is where success happens. So think about that and ask yourself, write down to your receptionist and client service coordinator for your admin team. There's no shortage of training for entrepreneurs, for attorneys, for paralegals, but when it comes to the admin team, they're typically the people that get the least training and access in a personal and professional development. But we expect the most out of them, as we should, because they're at the front of our house. You have an abundance money mindset. You've worked hard to charge what you're worth, hone your enrollment and sales skills, take risks in your business with marketing and money, but your team's money mindset is sabotaging your true potential. And again, that's from uh, on a subconscious level, they're not aware of it because they haven't been given access to community with people that are ahead of them and holding them accountable and empowering them and inspiring them to want better, to do better, to be better, and to understand what it takes to support an entrepreneur. And number two, they are not in a room where success happens. 
They're at your office all day. They leave, they go to the soccer field, baseball field, whatever it might be, and sit with the other moms and dads that are bitching about how much they hate their job and they can't wait to retire. And that's not the conversation that you want to be the loudest one in their voice. Once they have access to a very abundant mindset, to not being the victim and thing and complaining about working for the guy or gal, then that noise will all stop. So get them in a room where success happens. We all have heard it before. Your wealth and success will reflect the five people or the group with whom you spend the most time with. And who do you spend the most time with, entrepreneur, employer, your team? And team, who do you spend your most time with, your employer? We spend most of our time at work, but imagine if we invested a couple hours a week into making certain that we also have a tribe of like-minded colleagues from an administrative perspective that can support you. Give your employees and yourself the gift and the stretch of valuing yourself enough to join a community and build relationships with people who have achieved or even vastly exceeded what you're up to, what your goals are. Very quickly, with very little effort, you will hear how people think, see what they do, watch how they lead and overcome their own resistance and be able to adopt the same solutions, strategies, techniques they use to create results in their law firm. You know, I've listened to Tony Robbins. I've seen him speak endless times, more than I can even count enough to know the impact when, and you all know this too, you know the impact when 2020 hit and you could no longer be in the room, in the hotel conference room with your colleagues. And to know that Tony Robbins always says, be in the room with a tribe that is up to the same big life that you are. And we've all felt it. Now that people are going back to conferences, myself included, I, I, it's just, it's a game changer. Zoom, you can be in the Zoom rooms, but after a while, being at the coffee bar, being in the hotel room at the breaks, talking over dinner, what have you, we know that the greatest learning happens at the, when you're breaking bread with people. So the only reason you're not creating and achieving the goals you want is because your team's mindsets and actions do not match yours, not out of place of lack of want. They haven't get, been given the gift of exposure. This is not a cost to you. It's an investment for you. You know, I had a conversation with my coach this week and I said something about, oh, dread every Monday when I get my reports, even if I'm making financial goals or what have you, but just the pit in my stomach that comes when I have to open up my P&L and review review my weekly finance meeting. And she said, no, no, no. I want you to change your language. This changed everything for me. It's no longer a PNL profit and loss. It's a PNI profit and investment. Everything that you do, you need to start looking at an investment. So begin to invest in your team. It's the greatest retention tool that you can ever, ever have if you're going to put them in a coaching program that will support them with their mindset, support them with their tracking and measurements and consistency and over communication and managing the calendar and really how to lead your attorney, how to have your attorney's front, how to have your attorney's back. This is the science of getting rich for you. Your success is wholly, fully dependent on the admin team that are leading and supporting you while you're in the conference room, while you're at the conferences, while you're building the business, while you're working on the business. So give your team access 
and really let's work on your employees' money blocks and entrepreneurial blocks that they don't even know that they have and let's transform them. So if you are interested in hearing more about the Law Firm Admin Bootcamp, you can go to our website, www.hiringandempowering.com. And there's a Law Firm Admin Bootcamp tab there. And please feel free to reach out, schedule a discovery call with me. But here's the deal. Your team has to be on the call with you. Whoever in your law firm you want to enroll into this program, we're going to have a courageous conversation. We're going to have a clear conversation about what's currently working, what's not working, what you're not seeing that you wish that you were seeing within your team, within your process, within your production, within everything within your law firm. And this is where it starts. The truth will set you free in having this adult entrepreneurial conversation with your team in the room. What's the saying? So often when you register for something, the program begins once you register. The results and the transformation begins once we have that courageous, crucial, honest conversation and get really, really clear and concise about exactly what you want to see happen in 12 weeks within your firm and how we will know at the end of the 12 weeks if we've made it or not. All right, I'm excited to get your team to the place because every behind every frustration is a breakthrough. Behave, behind every breakdown is a breakthrough. So if you're feeling yourself frustrated, let's fix it and turn it around.